smile. Oh, hey, here's what you missed last time. Everyone's saying I look good. I've always told you look good. Bridget is sexy looking good, hun. Oh my God. I've always told you that. Okay, Michael's getting stanker and Bridget's getting better. <laughs> what the f is you made these comments? This is you. Bridget is just so hot face emoji, drool emoji. I like- Everybody at the hospital is getting tested for the- What? Including you? Including me. Yo. Uh -uh. Where are you going? Come no, on, no, come on. no. <laughs> what do we do here? I don't know, Michael. I want her to leave. Okay, listen. This may sound a little crazy, but hear me out. What? If she gets a little too close, beat her. Come on, I don't want to catch it. We came over to Bridget's house to get a VCR and some old home movies, and I don't want to talk about why. But the VCR just ate one of the tape. I gotta open this thing up. <laughs> okay. And we gotta go friggin' shopping. I just really hope there's something on here, Bridget. I do too. Like all this work better produce a result. Right? Why do we have a VCR right now? Oh my god, I know. I feel like such a boomer. Why couldn't your mom have put this on DVD years ago? <laughs> this is Cindy's fault, you know. <laughs> Seriously though, who films over home videos? I know. Memories of your child on Christmas. Who does that? Hopefully he didn't do that though. Let's, I mean, that's, that's some shit. Fingers crossed that the TBS movie of the week wasn't more important than your daughter. God. <laughs> of course, isn't everything else? Right. Let's not talk about that right now. I don't want to spoil what we're doing. Somewhere in this plaza is a boomer store where they have VCRs and they repair them, I think. It's either Let's over here or over there. There's a vacuum repair service there. There's, Okay, I don't see it over here. What about over here? I'm currently texting a VHS repair person here in Somerville who can help us not only get the tape out, but also transfer it onto like a thumb drive or a DVD or whatever we want. I can't wait to see it. I really hope it's there. Hopefully it's there. This is great. We got lucky finding this person. Like I didn't even know they still existed. I gotta be honest, I think I'm talking to like a bot or a ghost <laughs> or something because I don't think this person does exist. Oh shit. Oh, we're wrecking. Oh my god. All right, you guys. Admittedly, I'm kind of freaking out right now. I gotta talk about something. As a father, first time, I don't know what to do. I need a little bit of advice. We just left three stores. Walmart, Publix, Harris Teeter, and none of them had any baby formula left. Now, we don't really have enough. We don't have enough baby formula to last us two weeks if we go into a lockdown or we have to go into isolation. We do not have enough formula, which means Mia's not gonna be able to eat. And I don't know what to do. I am freaking out. The really big problem is people apparently are buying the ready-made formulas for their coffee, knowing that people need those things for their babies to live, like coffee, homie. Okay, our baby needs to eat and they're taking the ready-made formula for their coffee. Now Mia cannot digest the powder. I don't know what it is, but every time she tries to eat the powder, she feels sick and like, we need that ready form. Mm. Calm down, Michael. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just kind of freaking out. I, I, I need some advice. What do you guys think we should do? Because if we go into lockdown, I don't know what's going to happen. I do have these. That's three. That's about four days worth of formula. I need more than this though. Like, honest to God, that's not enough. Okay, Cindy has about five bottles in her house. We do have a little bit of powder, but I need more formula and I don't know where to get it. Guys, where should we get it? Do you know anywhere around my area that has formula or can I buy it online and are they still delivering? And I, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. You know what? We're cooking spaghetti. I need to calm down. I'm gonna start searching, but I don't know what to do because Mia cannot starve to death during this stupid quarantine. I'm, I'm really sorry, you guys. I love you. I'm just, I'm a tad, I'm a tad, I'm gonna pass out. I'm a tad freaking out. You want the noodles in the sauce? Yes. Okay. We'd never do this. <laughs> so it's a little, you want all the noodles or no? Yeah, all the noodles. There's not gonna be a lot of sauce left. 
Babe, it's fine. Why are they like all clumped together? Did you not put, you it's... didn't put butter or oil into the noodles? No. Well, congratulations, we have one noodle each because they're all one clump. Shut up, stir it around. Oh my God. Okay. Bro. Quarantine ain't so bad, I guess. I'm not leaving the fucking house. We well, gotta I'm go done. to Target. Dude, did you not get the notification last night? No. They're talking about we could be stuck in our house for eight weeks. You're f Oh, look at that. <gasps> that is a quarantine meal. Not enough meatballs. Let me go ahead and dig in there for some of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is a quarantine meal. Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna eat dinner, then we're gonna talk, then we're going to Target. Okay, let's do this. You know, I know a lot of people are saying that everybody's blowing it out of proportion, we're being sheep, and maybe we are. But here's the thing. There's a very, very real chance that we're going to be, like, not be able to go anywhere for eight weeks. Oh, gosh. That's two months of our life that we're stuck in here. Now, I got a question for you. What? Do we have enough supplies for Mia? No. For two months? No. That kid goes through, like, a whole thing called that formula per day. Yeah. Sometimes, like, one and a half. This is, like, she has to eat. She has to eat before we eat. Yeah. You know, we got all those supplies for us. We got, yeah, we got ramen noodles, and we got toaster strudels and pop-tars. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. Is he yelling about the... Oh, my gosh. Listen, we have plenty of stuff for us. Mia doesn't. I know. We gotta go to Target. Like, I was gonna, like, just do, like, shipped or something. Okay. Like, this is starting to get scary. What's going on? I know. Jesus. Okay. We're going to Target, and we're gonna get as much formula as we can. Now, are we if we take everything? No. Everyone else is taking everything. They have plenty in the back, don't they? Of course. Right? Nobody gets ready to feed anyway. Everyone gets powder. That's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> I would feel... Let's call and see if they have more in the bag. All right. Oh, yes! Twinkies! Our boxes of Twinkies have arrived. Michael. That's six boxes. What's wrong with this? What do we need Twinkies for? Because I'm hungry, I'm fat, I'm stupid, and six boxes are going to last us at least a day. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hold up. Expires in May? What? I thought Twinkies lasted forever. I know. They were in like Zombie Land. Zombie Land, you were a liar. Twinkies expire. I gotta eat them on a night. No. They expire in May. Michael. That gives me one day to eat them. No. Just ask them if they have any in the back. Yes, ma'am. So we could totally clean up your entire shelf, right? I, I just don't want to hoard anything. I don't want to take from other people. I just want to take everything you got because we actually have triplets. Yeah, uh, Mia, Maya, and Matilda. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, we need a lot. Thank. Yes, ma'am. We'll come right now. Thank you so much. They got a whole shelf full. We can have them all. Oh, nice. Our triplets are gonna eat. Woo! Look, sometimes you gotta lie. Sometimes you have to lie. Okay. Pray for us. I know, right? Look at me, you touch nothing. You don't even breathe. Okay. Stop okay. breathing the second the door opens. Okay. I don't have strong enough lungs, I'm too fat. We try this again. Bro, you just like inhaled coronavirus. Stop that. Don't even joke around. <laughs> oh yeah. Got what we came for. Load up the buggy. Michael. We are not here for toys, we're here for supplies. And you know what? What if I go into quarantine? And uh, I got no toys to play with. You know, Bridget, don't you think you're going too far right now? <sighs> Michael, the president is talking about a lockdown. I don't think we have enough. Huh? Yeah. What else? Anything, just grab. You just grab anything? If someone goes to take toilet paper out of our hands, we fight. On site. Well, I guess you're not gonna be wiping your. <laughs> hey, we got socks. Oh my god. Bro, wait a minute. We've used paper towels. No, that's something to pick up. Seriously? Yeah. Same with babe wipes. 
All right. I've had it. <coughs> Come on, go. I don't care who you hit, go. Oh. It has been a hell of a couple of days. Okay. Oh, it has. Like, seriously, it has been a bad couple of days, and we got to talk about it. Number one, all schools are canceled. I don't know if you're watching this and your school's canceled, but here, school is canceled. New York State, school is canceled. There's no more school right now because of what's going on around the world. And, like, I don't know what to make of it, dude. Like, are people overreacting or not? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like we don't have the right answers. We really don't. I'm not qualified to even ask the question. Like, I know. A lot of people are trying to say they're hiding something big, and I'm trying not to be a paranoid, okay? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know I'm not leaving anymore. I just find it very strange. Like, the flu is also bad, and nobody does this over the flu. Listen, we're going to sound ignorant if we talk about it. We are not specialists. We're not doctors. No, I just, like, that's the question, though. Like, why is this all happening when it's supposed to be similar? Right, but it's got a higher, like, death rate. Oh, really? Like, more people are dying from this thing than they are. Like, more people are dying from the flu, but there's more cases of the flu. You, you know, but more pe the higher percentage of people... Look, I'm not qualified to know the answer to it, but I don't want to leave the house anymore. That's terrifying. The Center for Disease Control is now outlawing, like, crowds bigger than 500 getting together, which means WrestleMania kind of has to cancel at this point, and I don't know why they haven't yet. Oh, my gosh. Why is WWE not canceling WrestleMania? I don't know. This is actually crazy, though. Like, everything else is canceled except WrestleMania. At this point, WrestleMania is going to be in a Lowe's parking lot. You know I know. What I mean? Like, what are, they, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> you know my what I mean? gosh. You guys, you guys kind of had to cancel it. The law is against you on this one, okay? You got to do something. And then the worst thing happened the other day. Kimberly, my sister, went to the hospital to get tested for the coronavirus. Oh, man. I hear a bee. I did, too. Oh, Where okay. is it? <laughs> no, it's not funny. I hate those things. I know. They're so scary. About two days ago, me and Bridget were FaceTiming. <coughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, the bees are everywhere. They live in our, like, wood. Could y'all please go to another house for a minute? Right? Don't they know I'm trying to vlog here? Like, what's going on? I'm trying to do a scene. I Look, <laughs> two days ago, me and Bridget FaceTimed with Kim, and she looked like holy hell. Like She looked like, yeah, hell. Seriously, she looked really, really bad, and she took her temperature, and it was like 104. Mm. Now, that's unacceptable. That's dangerous. That's when you gotta go somewhere. So Kimberly was taken to the hospital. She was put into a quarantine room, tested, and sent home for 48 hours. <sighs> so haven't got results yet. This is like, what does it mean? Like, what if Kim has it? That would be terrible, but I mean. That means right now, Kim's husband can't go to work. Mm -hmm. Kimberly can't go back to work. She's waiting on her test results. She might be sick. I don't know. Like. This is getting dangerous. It's pretty scary. Hopefully she doesn't have it. Should we call her? Yeah. We can't get it through the phone? No, my Michael. I don't know how audio waves work, and neither do you. You're not an expert, okay? Okay, you're, but I have common sense. Look, your dad thought- I'm the, offended. Your dad thought the internet was discovered, okay? I don't know <laughs> what you believe. Wait a minute, I'm the stupid one here. I hope she's okay. Okay, Kim. Worry us even further. That, that's exactly what I needed to be, to be worried. Are you able to leave a message on FaceTime? FaceTime unavailable. Okay. Oh, Jesus, Kim. Call her back. Come on, don't do this to us today. This is concerning. I know. Okay, well, guess we got the news about Kim today. Don't say that! I'm scared here. I haven't talked to her in a day. Answer! <laughs> That's funny. That was pretty funny. That's funny that my sister... Call her back! I've called twice now. Either she doesn't want to talk or something's wrong. Who are you calling? Lily. Oh, smart. <laughs> but no answer there either. So now I'm really getting worried. Oh, it's... 
Oh my gosh. Okay, the whole family is... They're dead. Don't say that. Why aren't they answering? This isn't funny anymore, dude. <sighs> Maybe they're just all sick of <laughs> Oh, that's... Nothing about this... It is what it is, you guys. I'm getting out of here. That's going to be it for today. I don't know what's going on with my sister. She's being tested for the... I don't know if it's positive. She's supposed to get the results today. <sighs> hopefully it's negative, and hopefully she feels better soon. If you guys pray, pray for my sister right now because I don't know what's going on. And if you're out there and you're sick... Stay hydrated. Seriously, take care of yourselves because this is getting bad. It's getting a little close to home. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't expect it to get like this. Like, everybody was laughing at first. It was a fun joke to talk about it, but it's getting real at this point. And yeah, it's, it's scary. Question for you. Do we have enough formula now? Yeah. Okay. We're good so. for like three weeks. Okay, three weeks of formula. That's good. I like the way that sounds. We have enough food for me. Uh, yeah. And me. Okay, but, but me. There's enough food for me? <laughs> what are you? Yeah, there's no food for us. I'm making sure I eat first. I'm kidding. You are not that person. I'm not that person. Guys, we're getting out of here. I don't know what's going on, but stay safe. Stay vigilant. Is it vigilant or vigilant? Is it vigilant? Do, do your due diligence. I don't even know or care. Like. <laughs> subscribe. Favorite. <laughs> Follow on everything to us. And that's it. I love you guys so much. And you know, please be safe. You know the lens is covered, right? Please be safe and stay hydrated because seriously, water is a cure for everything. Don't say, you cannot give <laughs> cures. You don't know. You're not a doctor. Okay. No, it's over. <laughs> a quick message from my attorney. No, water is not the cure for the cures. Please don't take that it is. She's fully. She don't know what she's talking about. Okay, okay. No, she don't know. Not a cure.